The shores of the Sacramento River experience constant erosion. That's a big reason why Sacramento has some of the highest flood risk in the nation. Those same shores also provide habitat for five threatened or endangered fish species. Local, state, and federal agencies are working together to reduce flood risk while being mindful of the environment, which is what brought ecologists with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to the Coleman National Fish Hatchery in Anderson, California to surgically implant tracking devices into live fish. Yesterday we tagged 50 juvenile steelhead, and then today we're going to tag 215 juvenile Chinook salmon. 183.9. Tracking fish also helps researchers understand how different species react to habitat created after Sacramento Riverbank repairs. And we are trying to determine if our repair sites are impacting the fish at all and if there's anything beneficial that we could do. For example, we have tree branches or trees that we put in the river to create habitat for the fish. We want to know if the fish are actually utilizing those sites or if there's other things that we could do. Our process is that we activate the tags, drug the fish with MS222, which just puts them to sleep, and we put the tag in and suture it. And once they've recovered, we transfer them to a holding tank for us to make sure that all of the fish have survived and that they're doing okay. Then it's back into the wild. We are releasing them into the Sacramento River, and we have receivers that will pick them up, spread out over about 75 miles of the Sacramento River. That information is used to evaluate habitat restoration work and research additional environmental benefits for many of our flood risk reduction projects. Todd Plain, Sacramento.